In this video, I'm going to go over how to calculate the total for a wing type. Not the total for one wing test. This was um, test number one. This was test number two and so on. Um, but uh, I'm, I am going to go over how to calculate the total for all of the flights of the delta wing. So each one of these rows represents one test where one delta wing was flown 10 times. We recorded the distances and that's what the rows represent. But I want to know what is my average for every single flight of the delta wing? Well, to do that, now that you know how to calculate average, you can use um, some of that to your advantage here. Click in this cell here. We're going to press the delete key. And I am going to type in equals AVE. And here's the average I'm going to select. I'm left clicking average. Now we want to know the total for all of our flights. So I'm going to left click here, which is M55. Here's column M, here's row 55. So I left click and I just drag my selection. I want to go all the way up and over to D2. And I let go and I press the enter key. And just like that, my overall average for my delta wing, 26.3. Now I want to make these stick out a little bit. Um, because they are my totals. So let's make them bold. And let's do the same thing now for median and mode while we're here. So I am just going to press the delete key. I'm going to press equals MED. Um, there's median. So I click left click median and I do the same thing selecting M55 and all the way up to D2. And I press the enter key. So there's my median for the delta wing. Now let's do mode. What was the most commonly occurring flight distance? Well, we're getting an idea looking here, um, but let's get it exactly. So we click on P56, we press the delete key, we type in equals, and we're going to type in MO. There's mode. And I'm going to left click on M55 and I'm going to go to the first flight, which was D2 and let go of my click and I press the enter key. And now you can see we have um, the mean, median and mode. Now we need to do the range. We know that the range is not zero. So we're going to, um, you know, we could delete it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to double click on that and look at my formula. And what I want to know is, is my formula including all of my data? Well, we said that D2 was our first flight. So let's put this as D2. So I'm going to edit this manually, D2. And then we said that M55 down here, M55 was our second uh, value for um, doing the mean, median, mode, and range that we used. Uh, but um, for this is flight 10. This was the last flight. So we want to change this to M55. Now, now that we have our range for the max, we want the same selection for the min. So rather than retyping it over here, let's just highlight this, press Control C, and we'll copy and paste it right over here by highlighting um, min and pressing Control V. And then we'll press the enter key. And what this is going to do, it's going to find the biggest number, the maximum, and 
this uh, selection, and then it's going to find the minimum number, and it's going to subtract the minimum number from the maximum number. So I press the Enter key, and there you go. Um, the biggest um, difference, 45. So that must mean we had uh, some that went almost no distances, and then some of them went, you know, 40-some feet maybe. This one here went 47. So um, there's our delta wing totals. We have our mean, median, mode, and range for all of the flights of our delta wing calculated. And what might be helpful is to just even make these stick out a little bit more is to maybe change this. Okay, instead of using that light red three, let's just go to light red number two. And now it just sticks out just a little bit more, uh, making it a little bit easier for us to analyze. So rather than showing the process for the rest of all of these wings, um, elliptical wing, straight wing, and swept forward wing, you can repeat the procedure that you saw me use here for the delta wing totals. And the only thing you'll need to do is just change your values for range, especially, um, to make sure that you select, when you do elliptical wing, for example, you'll want to select D57 as your starting flight, and you'll want to select M110 as your last flight. So other than that, um, you should be able to finish up your totals for the elliptical wing and straight wing and the swept forward wing. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do those in this same video, but I'm going to do them uh, pretty quickly for the sake of time. So I'm going to, here, I'm going to say that I want to change this to M, and I said 110. And I want to change my first one. I said D57. So I'm going to select, just type in D57 to M110. And I press the Enter key. And there I have it. I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, this is, you know what? I'm just going to highlight this and press Control C. And then I'm going to click here and press control V. I'm going to double click here and press control V. And I'm going to double click here and I'm going to press control V. After making that selection, I'm gonna select this and press control V. And I press the enter key. There are my totals. Um, I'm going to make these all bold and i also want to change the color let's just darken it up just a little bit so there's my totals for elliptical wing i'm gonna keep moving down i'm gonna do the same thing um, my first flight of the straight wing was d 112 so i'm gonna go to d 112 Or I'm going to go uh, to my average, and I'm going to enter D112. And then my last flight is going to be M163. So I'm going to make that M163. And before I even hit enter, I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use it. So I'm going to do a control C. I'll press the enter button. I'm going to come here. I'm going to highlight these and control V and enter. And I'm going to come here. My mode, I'm going to do control V and enter. And I'm going to come to my range and I'm going to do a highlight and control V and a highlight and press control V 
and I press the enter key and there I have